This is the way the whole place looks. It's just amazing that it floated things, opened up doors, mm -hmm. and it is, it's gone. Just. <sighs> I will not break down this time. <laughs> Before the flood, I mean, people would come in. I guarantee by the time they left, they were smiling. I have 60s rock and roll playing in the background. And if there's an old song that comes on that I like, uh, I'll be singing it while I'm doing the examination. And uh, I could have a good time and still give them a good examination. And hopefully they had a good time too. We closed the office early on Saturday because we'd heard that all this rain was coming. And then Monday, they warned you not to get out of the house. Streets were flooded. And overnight that Monday night to Tuesday morning, all of a sudden the water just rose and it's a mandatory evacuation. And a boat come to get us. And from there, nobody knew where the shelters were gonna be. And then another colleague of mine offered to put us up and that's where we've been ever since. Oh, I thought about my practice every single day. <laughs> Now the water, they tell me, got six feet high in there. We can still see the water line. And so it was almost two weeks before I got back in. And when I went in, just there was just mud over everything. I mean, just anything can hold water. Still has water, hasn't dried out a month later. I'm hope, I, well, I hope I get back and practice again and can afford to do it. If I were, you know, 20 something again and starting over, or 30 something again and starting over, even 40 starting over, that's different. I have a long road ahead of me. I could pay off the debts and everything else. At, at, at 68, I really don't want to start over. It worries me, it keeps me up at night. You know, whenever you think you're bad off, and don't, everybody's troubles are you know, their own, they're, and it's always worse when it's yourself. And I, I cry about my office, but people had nothing. I mean, they had nothing. They're living in a shelter and, and you open up the door and there's people as far as you could see in cots. Everybody, I don't care what race you were, I don't care whether you're Republican or Democrat, all the differences that we've been having recently all went away. We were just all people in need and everybody in Houston came through. They know I don't have what I did before, but I have a, a very large core of patients who have just been truly amazing and, 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 and you can tell they're intentionally trying to spend some money with me just so that I have something to pay the bills. So what do you love most about being an optometrist? Oh, everything really. I mean, I, I like, it sounds corny helping somebody see, but it's what I do. <laughs> it's who I am. I've been doing this 42 years. It's, it's my life and I happen to love it.